Hi, my name is Dr. Laura Boilini, and this is my introduction video that I prepared for you so that you can get to know me and know more about our course. It's great to meet you, and let me share a little bit with you about me. First, I love teaching the graduate classes at UNIF, and I'm very happy to be here. I moved to Florida in 2009, and I'm really not sure why I waited so long. I live in St. Augustine, and my husband often says the same comment, why didn't we come to Florida sooner? I love the weather, the sunshine, and I love knowing the ocean is near, although I don't visit it as often probably as I should. Originally, I'm a Hoosier from Indiana, where I lived in a rural area about two hours from Chicago, a city I visited often with my family. Indiana is where I grew up, where I went to college and school, and where I raised my children and worked for many years. I have a daughter, Leslie, who is a nurse currently in San Diego, and my son, Lance, is an aeronautical engineer still living in Indiana. We're all Purdue alumni. My hobbies include painting, writing, cooking, exercise, travel, and wine tasting, and not necessarily in that order. Here are a couple of my paintings. The mountain scene is one I did last summer. It's a very large painting. It's about four by six feet. I like to work from photographs, and it's really a very small photograph from a calendar, and I had a lot of fun creating that big, huge painting. It was actually put on a canvas that I was about ready to throw out, and I thought, oh, I'll give it one more chance. The turtle on the other side is one that was a recent commission for someone whose daughter was building a home on the ocean and they wanted a turtle going to the sea. If you go to St. Augustine, I have painted a mural outside Kyle Seafood and I did that last summer as well and I actually painted for fish. So I painted and we received fish credit. So if you go to Kyle Seafood, you'll see another piece of my art. And those are hobbies, that's one of my hobbies that I enjoy. So my work, I've had a lot of work. Um, in Indiana, I started as an elementary teacher. I taught second grade and fifth grade, and then I taught elementary art for six years, and I, I really loved that position. It was a very busy schedule. I had about 900 students a week, and it was incredibly hectic, but I have fond memories of those times. I then transitioned to becoming an assistant principal at the same school, and then, went on, then I went on to become a principal at another school, and then I jumped, if you jump to the next line down on the slide, I jumped from that position actually to assistant superintendent in the state of Indiana and superintendent of schools for 10 years. When I moved to Florida, my first role was as the career program director for the Putnam County School District. Then I went into higher education, although I had been teaching adjunct for Purdue, and when I moved to Florida, began that as well. I also have been a Dean of Arts and Sciences, and my current role, which I love very much, is as your instructor, a visiting assistant professor in educational leadership here at the University of North Florida. So that's me and my work career and my family, and I'd really like to learn about you. And I think through the readings and the writings and when you turn in your assignments, I, I tend to get to know the students in the online format through what they share with me in the writing. But I would also encourage you to come to my office or to give me a phone call or, or somehow that we could meet because I really want to help you in your goals here at the University of North Florida. Okay, communication is probably the most important key of an online class. And so the syllabus is, is a key component of the course. It serves as our contract. For the most effective communication, please take a look at the course syllabus. I try to put everything in there. The end of the course syllabus has a calendar. And while I list all the due dates on that calendar, they can be tentative. Sometimes we need to adjust. But I always put the dates for your assignments in the course calendar and then also within the syllabus. Please let me know if you have any questions about the syllabus if something is not clear. I try to make it as clear as possible, but it's always a work in progress, and I don't mind if students tell me that there's an error in the syllabus. Please let me know. The assignments are in the syllabus for your class, our class, but are also located in the Assignments tab in the Canvas section for ease of access for you. So they're in both places. It is my goal to make communication flow easily for you and for me in our course. Communication is key. So how will you hear from me? Well, announcements are something I use frequently. So check our course often so that you can see if there are announcements that you need to pay attention to. Speed grader for feedback is really the area that I give you specific comments. And rarely do I go where I, I grade an assignment and not write many, many comments to you. I really appreciate reading my graduate students' work, and I think it's my responsibility to give you 
lots of feedback. So look in the speed grader for comments to you. It's also a way for kind of for us to get to know one another. It's, it's almost like a conversation dialogue. I read your work and I'm thinking about it and reflecting upon it. And then I write comments back to you, just to you through the speed grader. Also emails, um, please use the UNF address for emails. If not, UNF may bounce out um, emails that come from a different source. So please use your Osprey account to communicate with me and then also via Canvas in our course. I do have office hours and I would love to meet you in person. Even if it's not um, a day that, that I have class, it doesn't mean I, I couldn't be here. I'm on campus frequently. So don't hesitate to let me know when you're going to be on campus and perhaps we could meet. Phone calls are not a problem. Graduate students have hectic, busy schedules and I understand that. So don't hesitate to call me in the evenings if that works best for you. On the weekends, I, I really just want to be accessible for you. So don't hesitate. I really mean that. And texting is fine too. A lot of students will text me about something. The expectations for our course. We should be professional in our communication, so I expect that with me and with all the other students in the class. Please expect a reasonable turnaround time for emails, which is probably the best way to reach me. I try to get to those. It's rarely 24 hours. I check uh, the emails frequently. Expect a little bit longer for assignments, and that's because I do have a lot of um, reading and I'm reflecting, and I really want to give you specific feedback, and that just takes a little time. So have a little patience on your assignments when you turn them in. If I'm gone and traveling, um, I try to let the students know that I would be out, and I'll put that in Canvas, usually in an announcement. I always take my computer with me and hook up as soon as I get to where I am, but sometimes it's out of my control and I can't get online, so I don't want you to be worried. So look if I'm going to be gone to receive an email in Canvas or an announcement. And finally, communication is reciprocal. Don't hesitate to contact me and ask me a question. I really do want to assist you in this course so it can be meaningful for you. This course is not my course, and it's not your course. It's our course, and I look forward to having you in class. Bye.